Thanks, Whitney. I'm joined now by our mayor, Pat Fiacco. I see the shots of the weather tra or the uh, traffic cam there. It is bright and early. Thanks so much for coming in this My morning. My pleasure. Good morning. Uh, the, uh, you're heading right to the National Infrastructure Summit right from here. Second one starts today. Uh, how is this one going to be different from the first one? What are we focusing on? Um, the, the first one uh, in Regina um, really, really brought in experts and, and really talked about a lot of theory. You know, what could we do? Mm -hmm. um, this time, it's, it's, it's all about uh, the practice what is actually happening and what are we going to be doing uh, right across the country. So a number of experts once again uh, coming forward. Um, we, uh, we have uh, a challenge out there that uh, was a great idea and it's called Morph My City. So this is, this is worldwide and uh, it's about really taking a, a field, um, a canola field, brown field, um, and uh, transforming that into an actual city. So there's some, we're going to hear some ideas about how you can do that. And again, in, in generally just dealing with, with infrastructure because the issue of infrastructure is not unique challenges to Regina. This is something that's, that's Canada-wide. It's something that mayors across Canada and municipal leaders across Canada have been, uh, have been working on for the last, uh, for the last uh, 20 years. I, I wanted to <coughs> speak with about our infrastructure shortage here in, in mm. the province. I, there was a campaign out with uh, SUMA the uh, campaign partners in building our Saskatchewan with the provincial government. Are we making headway here in Saskatchewan? Yeah, we're, we are making headway. Uh, we've got a long ways to go though because there's been many, many years of, of really very little funding either on the revenue sharing side or on the capital side. You see, we have two budgets that cities work on, the operating budget and the capital budget. The capital budget deals with all of our infrastructure. And uh, it's really important, um, first of all, on the operating side, that the day-to-day -day operations are working 100% of the time. And what's happened in the past is, because there was a shortfall on the operating side, and that shortfall was a result of just simply not, not collecting enough taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, we only have one source of revenue, and that's property taxes. And you can only go back to the well so many times uh, in respect to getting money from the property taxpayer. So most cities, and, and, and towns and villages would actually take from the capital budget. So there'd be less infrastructure work done so that they can offset the operating budget. The provincial government has obviously, uh, and that's what the campaign was about, thanking the province uh, for uh, providing us with uh, the, the uh, incredible revenue sharing deal that we have today, which is a share of the PST, 1% of the PST. That has made big Big, big, a big difference. We've got gains now on the operating side. Now we're going to be working on the uh, capital side. And on the capital side, you know, just driving to work, just seeing all the work that's getting done out there. Is this a pretty busy year for Regina? This is the busiest yet. Yeah, this yeah. is the most we've invested in uh, in, in street and road renewal. Um, and I want to thank our citizens for being patient. Some, some citizens uh, obviously get very, very frustrated. Um, but if we want to get our roads fixed, there's going to be inconvenience. We have a very short construction season. And, um, and, and sometimes uh, we hear citizens ask us, well, why don't you try to spread it out? Well, the problem is, is that w w we can't spread it out. Yeah. We, we have to get it done now. Uh, but for the most part, I think citizens appreciate the fact that we are starting to, to make some headway. All right. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. We are out of time. It goes by so quickly. It does go it? by too quickly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Ben. My really pleasure. Appreciate thank you. It. Well, we'll tell you how Tommy Douglas made a history on today's date as the morning news continues. But first, here's a live shot of downtown Regina. Don't go away. There is much more to come.